Ifain Ejiofo, Council to Unam Dikanu, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has reacted to the death of Obadiah Milafia, former deputy governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. Ejiofo said, Milafia sought for forgiveness, peace, and reconciliation for what Nigeria did to the Igbo during the Biafra Civil War. He also disclosed that the former presidential candidate wanted the Middle Belt to apologize to the Igbo over their role during the Biafra War. In a series of tweets, a job for words, the sad news of the sudden dismiss of Dr. Melafia hit me with a great shock. I could not believe it until I made calls to close contacts and confirmed it was true. What is life but fleeting moments? Today we are here, tomorrow we are no more. Permit me to say that Dr. Melafia is a fine gentleman who stood on the side of the truth. He was well read and a man of the letters who was bold to persuade the people of the Middle Belt to tender an apology to the Igbos for the role they played against the Biafrans during the Civil War. It was a horrible experience for the people of the Southeast. The massacre is better imagined than experienced. Our people lost the battle after three years due to the roles played by their neighbors. Torture, rape, starvation, illness, and diseases ravaged our people and our neighbors never lifted a finger to help. They rather joined forces with the oppressors and unleashed terror on our land. It is now history, yet that history is being subdued so that present and future generations are not aware of the evil done to our forefathers. Yet, Dr. Melafia, even though the northern extract stood out and acknowledged the heels done to the evils and sought for forgiveness, peace, and reconciliation. That is the true example of sportsmanship. It's often said that good people don't last. A rare gem is lost. We cannot question God because He alone gives and take when it pleases Him. What is your thought about this that has been said? What is your own reaction to this pain development? I would like you to drop your thoughts and reactions via the comment section on this that has been said according to the news. If I in a joyful cancel to Enamdi Kanu, who is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has reacted to the death of Abadaya Melafia, who is the former deputy governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. The death of Melafia is a shock. Ejofo and Melafia, you know, are close because Ejofo said Melafia sought for the forgiveness, peace, and reconciliation of what Nigeria did to Igbo during the Biafra Civil War. With this, that Melafia have said it has increased the intimacy between the two. And now Ejofo said it appears to him as a great shock. You know, he said the, the death. The sudden death of Dr. Melafia hit him, you know, with a very great shock. He said he did not believe it until he made calls to close contact who confirmed it was true. So, why are we all going about the material things in life when today we are here, tomorrow we are no more? That is what a job for have said. What is your reaction to this? According to him, he said, it is said that good people don't last. What is your own reaction? It is often said that true and good people don't last. That is just the true example of a sportsmanship. 
we have very people like Melafia. That is what has been said by Ifain Ejiofo. I would like you to drop your thoughts and reactions via the comment section on this. But before we go, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Edward Abba reacted to this and said, Now that you have killed Obadiah, you guys are now happy, right? But let me remind you of one thing. One thing will surely kill a man. No one lives forever. Where is Osman than for you today? What is your thought about this? That Edward has said that now that's a troll man, someone who has been fighting for reconciliation, for forgiveness of what Nigeria has done to the Ibos, now that he's dead, now that he has been killed, it's obvious that some people are happy about his death. But according to Edward, he said, let me remind you, said one thing will surely kill a man, no one lives forever. Where is Usman Danfudio today? What is your thought about this? We have heard what Edward has said, saying that no one lives forever. Everyone will have to die one day, and one thing will surely kill a man. Where is Usman Danfudio today? We would like you to drop your thoughts on this. Okay, Chuku also reacted and said, The Zoological Republic have killed an innocent man. Rest in peace, good man. What is your thought about this? As we can see, people are saying that Melafia is a good man, is a highly respected man, is an innocent man. But because of who he is, because he's innocent, because he's a good man, because he's always on the good side, always on the right side, that is why he has died so early, because he has so many enemies, because his death presently now, some people are rejoicing and dancing and laughing on it because they are happy because he's dead if he continues to exist is an hindrance to some people because he's always on the truth what is your thought about this guest he also reacted and said may god of all ages entire universe help us to know that we are only human beings and do pray that he be forgiven in the name of jesus he said the rain the Biafra civil war. I lost my immediate, you know, elder brother, immediate younger sister, and elder sister during that period. But let all all forgive, you know, forgive and forget about the past. That is what guests have said. He said he lost, you know, his elder brother, immediate younger sister, and elder sister during, you know, that period of Biafra civil war. But we have to forget all this and forgive one another. What is your thought about this? As we can see, it is obvious that the lifestyle of Melafia has really impacted into so many lives positively because of his good deeds. I would like you to drop your thoughts on this. Don't forget that. And I'm the Kano's lawyer. If I in a job for have said that Abadaya Melafia sought forgiveness from Ibos over the Biafra war. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you have not, and I'll see you on the other news. Bye for now.